Hi everybody, my name is Miss Rayway and welcome to Discovering Phantoms where I take cartoons, anime, TV, video games, movies, basically anything that has a fandom and I give you guys a sort of introductory course without spoilers of what you might be getting yourself into. And as last week foretold, I will be talking about an anime this week. And so I sent out on Twitter a poll to you guys asking if I should talk about like an old classic anime or a new hotness anime. I'd be willing to do both. And none of you, none of you answered my poll. Just, just a little but heard about it. Anyway, <clears throat> that made me decide to just pick the first anime that came to mind and it was Dragon Ball. I'm talking about Dragon Ball this time, <laughs> this week, in case you didn't know based on the title or the thumbnail. I mean, what don't people know about Dragon Ball by this point? Anyway, let's get started. Dragon Ball is an 80s manga turned anime originally created by Akira Toriyama and first produced by Toei Animations. This series, uh, entire franchise really, is an adventure slash comedy slash martial, martial, martial arts genre slash series sort of thing. And its original airtime was between February of 1986 to April of 1989. The series was originally adapted to do one episode for each chapter of the first 194 chapters of the Dragon Ball manga. And when the series was finally done, they decided to do the next 325 chapters and turn that into the series Dragon Ball Z. Almost needless to say, the series was a huge hit and marked an entire franchise, not only making the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, but it also made the series Dragon Ball Z Kai, which was kind of like an updated version of Dragon Ball. They made Dragon Ball GT and they made Dragon Ball Super, which is the current one. The entire franchise has made Oh, so many, so many episodes of something. They made movies, they have made video games, it has been an everywhere franchise and I'm, I don't think it'll be going anywhere anytime soon. So from the very beginning, the story starts with this monkey-tailed boy named Goku, who is on a quest to find the seven legendary Dragon Balls. And it's said in this legend that if you collect all seven and bring them together, you will be granted one wish, and it could be any wish you want. And as with most stories, Goku finds a lot of friends and enemies all going, all going towards the same goal as him, and over time, this story turns into more of the journey along the way rather than the destination, which actually happens quite a lot. <laughs> and obviously I'm not mentioning mentioning a lot of the characters except for Goku which is supposed to be like the main character because I don't want to spoil it for you guys and obviously there are characters in here like Bulma and Vegeta and Chi Chi and like a whole bunch of people that turn into a whole bunch of more people who turn into like a planet full of people literally. Uh, you should probably check that out yourself. I don't want to like confuse you any more than the series will. So this show for me, kind of like with most people, was my first introduction into anime. And if I'm going to be like completely with honest with you guys, the only reason why I watched it is because that was when my family first got like cable and everything and more than just like the 10 channels that we would get like for local TV. And I didn't know how to use the remote. So I would just come home, turn on the TV, and that's what would be on. After a while, I did learn how to use a remote. Guys, I'm, I'm not that dumb. And I still ended up watching it because like it made me laugh and it was like funny and dramatic. Like it was a soap opera. It's literally a soap opera. If you are into drama, then you will love Dragon Ball and its franchise. I'm willing to bet that if you just type in into your search bar, Dragon Ball blank, you'll find something either within the series or like a fiction that goes off on it or just like a, a very serious discussion 
of how this would translate into the Dragon Ball world. And I'm thinking, like, you're only thinking about going into this fandom because you've only heard, like, like you've only heard the jokes about Dragon Ball, like, how many Saiyans does it take to screw in a light bulb? One, but it'll take, like, 20 episodes. Because that's not wrong. I would actually start, really, if you're going off of what you only know from the internet, I would start with, with the Z Kai series, since that is, like, an updated version of Dragon Ball, and it's more um, congruent with the manga since that's what they were going off of so it, that one's more canon than the actual dragon ball series so i would start with that one and i don't know give it five episodes and you'll know if you're into it or not so i guess that's all that i can say about the dragon ball franchise i shall spin the wheel of fandom to let us all know why we'll be talking about come next episode and it looks like i will be talking about a cartoon. So if you guys have any suggestions for cartoons that I should talk about, I i don't know, you can look into the playlist to see what I've done already. I know for sure I've already done Steven Universe and Gravity Falls. So that is the topic for next week. If you guys want to give me a suggestions, I would wholeheartedly take them into consideration. Thank you guys so much for watching. I very, very much appreciate it. I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a wonderful life.